How do I set a marketing contact in HubSpot? Well, there's a little bit more than a yes or no answer to that question. In this video, we're gonna dive in and show you how to do just that. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Marketing contacts in HubSpot were introduced in about 2020, but they've been around for a while and not every account has access to them. But the reason why they're so important is if your HubSpot account has marketing contacts as a feature enabled, that is going to be a way to separate the people that you're paying to market to versus the ones that you're not. So this only applies if you happen to have Marketing Hub. This isn't necessarily applicable to you if you have just sales or CRM. But in Marketing Hub, basically what happens is HubSpot has let us realize that we're not always marketing to everybody in our database. And that's true because people need to opt in and give us permission to market to them in the way of emails and ads and things like that. So a marketing contact basically is a designation inside your HubSpot CRM that says, I want to be able to send marketing communications to this person. So there's a way to set that inside of your CRM and there's also ways to make that automated through some of the marketing activity in your company. So let's dive in and take a look at how to do this. So here in this screen, we've got two sample contacts and I'm gonna actually show you how to make one a marketing contact. This is probably the easiest and most straightforward way to manage this for contacts. So we've got Brian Halligan here. I've checked the box right next to his name. I click on this more and here we've got set as marketing contact. So this shows me that I can set either just one person at a time or I can set multiple. So if I check Maria as well, I can click on more and set both of them as marketing contacts. Now I can also choose to not to basically remove them as marketing contacts if I want to. Now a key thing here to remember is that marketing contacts, you are actually charged for those. Anybody who's gotten marketing hub or upgraded in the last two years most likely has this, this feature inside of their system. So if you want to be able to take people off as marketing contacts and basically remove them from your pricing structure, that will not apply till the next pay period. I'm gonna link up a help article from HubSpot in the description that will help you understand how that works from a billing perspective. But basically, again, if I wanted to remove these folks as marketing contacts, I would set them as non-marketing contacts here. Now, if I do this and set as marketing contacts, it will tell me that they're already set as marketing contacts. So again, it's going to give you some tips of things to think about before you set those folks. So that is one way to do that. Another way to do this is through forms. So think about this from the perspective of marketing to your audience. So if I happen to create a form like it is here in HubSpot, this form might be used to get ebook downloads, maybe webinar registrations, perhaps it's going to be an opt-in for some type of event. But when I submit a form as a prospect, there's a likelihood that you're going to want to receive information about that event or about that webinar, or again, more information from that company. So in that perspective, you want this contact to be labeled as a marketing contact. So we can set a form to basically say, every time this form is submitted, I want those contacts to be labeled as marketing contacts. So here we're just gonna do a blank form and show you where this is set up. So we're not gonna set up the form. We have another video that actually shows you how to set up forms, but here I'm just gonna show you the option. And if I scroll down to the bottom, this option here, set contacts created as marketing contacts. So any new contacts created in this form, by checking this on and turning this over here to the right where it shows that it's blue and checked, that means that anybody who submits this form will be labeled as a marketing contact, okay? So that is one way to do it with forms. Another way to do it is to um, set a workflow that basically enrolls someone into that workflow and then sets them as a marketing contact. So this might be if they did a specific action, you want there to be a trigger that they get labeled as a marketing contact. And that's going to be up to you. We have another video um, about workflows and sequences. We also have another video just about setting up your first workflow. So if you're not able, or if you don't know how to set workflows, probably watch that first. But here I'll jump over to workflows and you can see what I mean by setting that trigger as uh, a marketing contact. So we're just gonna start from scratch just to show you how this works. And in this case, you would need to set whatever type of trigger this is. So let's say your trigger is anybody who attended your email series about, or excuse me, your webinar series about XYZ, if they attended based on some other things inside of HubSpot, you want them to be triggered here. Now, we're not gonna set that trigger because that's different for probably everybody, but here we're just going to say, um, I want to set marketing contact. So I type in set, and we're going to see that I can set marketing contact status here. And then I can say that I wanna set them as a marketing contact, 
or as a non-marketing contact. So this could also be something, think about it from the perspective of if they unsubscribe from your email communications, you could go in and actually remove them. So if anybody unsubscribed, that might be the trigger. And then you may choose to set them as a non-marketing contact because you don't want to keep paying for them in your system if in fact they don't want to receive communication from your company. So that is a way to use a workflow to set them as a marketing or non-marketing contact status. If I actually want one more piece with this forms, I can look at these non-HubSpot forums, which non-HubSpot forums or any forums on your website that are not HubSpot forums, but you've told the HubSpot um, code that anybody that comes through those forms, I want them to go into HubSpot too. Again, this is something that you would set up in the settings area when you first install HubSpot, but you can actually tell HubSpot in the settings. So if I click on settings here, you can tell them, hey, I want anybody from a non HubSpot forum to also be set as a marketing contact. Again, that can be set over here. So the last piece that I'm not going to show you necessarily here is that you can set um, an integration perspective. So an integration default, let's say that you're integrating from a tool like Zoom or some other type of database tool, and you want to have new contacts come in as a specific default marketing contact status, you can do that in the integration settings of that particular software. So again, we're gonna go back to the contact screen. Just a quick review. Remember the easiest way is gonna be this drop down here, setting as marketing contacts or as non-marketing contacts. So the last piece I guess I do wanna show you here is that you do need to have the permissions in order to change the marketing contact status. And that's going to be found here when you go into your users and then the users that have a specific uh, account setting. Here we've got marketing contact access. So this needs to be turned on in order for you to be able to set or unset someone as a marketing contact. So that's it, that's how to set a marketing contact inside of HubSpot, fairly straightforward, but there is some things to think about in terms of when you use it and turn it on. So for more tips, tricks, and how to's, hit that subscribe button. Let us know if there's a topic you'd like for us to cover in the future, and we'll see you next week.